Okay, so now, a person throws an object vertically upwards. Two seconds later, the person catches the object. So neglect the air resistance. So determine the initial speed of the object. Uh, and then also sketch a graph of velocity versus time for the object. I mark X on the graph where object reaches the maximum height. Uh, so uh, can you do this question? So still remember about kinematic of linear motion? Yeah, all the, all the earlier chapter. Okay, uh, so this is actually a, actually this is a free fall motion. Huh? Am I? So let's do it. Yeah, let's do this question. So throw vertically upward. So two seconds later. So it gives you the time here. Time is uh, two seconds. Okay, and then uh, initial speed. Yeah, find the initial speed. Uh, so we know that uh, this one is actually free form free fall yeah free fall uh, free fall cases so we know that free fall acceleration is equal to negative G still remember for free fall motion acceleration is negative G yeah or we can say uh, negative 9.81 yeah, meter per second square. Yeah, the uh, so he throw the object upwards. Yeah, he throw the object upwards. Okay, with initial velocity. Okay, and then what? Uh, so this this object will you know will go upwards. Uh, two seconds later. Yeah, the person catch the object again. So that means. He go up, the ball go up and then come down again, isn't it? Go up and come down again. So after two seconds, yeah. At zero second, he put, he throw up the ball, and then two seconds later, he catches the ball. Yeah. At uh, at the start of time, he throw the ball. Two seconds later, he catch the ball. Understand? Understand or not? Yes, sir. Uh, so, so uh, find the initial speed. Uh, how? Uh, just use kinematic lah. We have time. We have you know what is the displacement? Uh, what is the total displacement? The time it start go up and then go back to the original level. What is the total displacement? Displacement is zero because it go back to origin. Understand? Uh, it back to origin. Back to origin. Uh, second, let me cut off this. Okay, it back to origin. Uh, so uh, let us uh, continue back to origin. So uh, how are we going to do this? So what what formula can we use for this case? Displacement, initial velocity, time, acceleration. What formula? S U T Yeah S equal to U T plus half A T square. So and this one is a uh, zero and then uh we want to find U okay time is two second acceleration is negative G so negative G become uh you know negative nine point eight one so here just put a negative yeah and then A is negative A just now negative G negative go out already uh, G is 9.81 so here put 9.81 okay and then time is 2 second uh, understand hey okay. uh, we want to find U isn't it uh, so can you find U let's find out the U okay so here uh, you know half uh, square yeah 2 so um, 9.81 multiply 2 uh, okay and then divide by 2 yeah actually it's uh, 9.81 uh, initial velocity is oops sorry uh, 9.81 meter per second understand yeah. okay so uh, uh, positive means it's going up yeah positive means going up uh, initial velocity is going up so now uh, find draw the graph 
draw the graph velocity time yeah you want a graph of uh, velocity time so how do how are we going to draw velocity time graph uh excuse me uh, for a while okay so recording so now uh draw the velocity time graph mark x okay later on draw the graph first velocity time so how to draw yeah how are we going to draw this velocity time so uh okay draw the axis first okay just now it's uh oops excuse me uh again another axis uh oops what is this okay so all right so okay this is question a question b okay velocity time so what do you think how do you going to draw yeah uh okay so let me see so velocity time so velocity is a uh, meter per second then time you need to you know when you draw graph you need to have symbol and unit together and also must label the unit uh, label the value okay so um uh, initial speed is uh 9.81 okay and then uh what do you think when going up velocity decrease isn't it when going up velocity velocity decrease uh, when going uh, at and then at maximum height velocity is zero isn't it and then when going down velocity increase uh, when going up velocity decreasing and then at uh, at here maximum height velocity zero and then when going down velocity increase again so um so the graph should be the graph should be like this uh, okay so that means uh initially the velocity is velo initially velocity is uh, 9.81 positive okay uh this is when zero second and then at two second is over here yeah this when when you throw the ball when you throw the ball when you throw the ball and then this when you catches the ball uh catches the ball okay uh this one is at uh here he say put x right uh, mark x here mark x uh this is uh, the at the maximum height at maximum height the velocity is zero so this when going up when going up velocity decrease yeah it becomes uh, slower and slower uh, becomes slower and slower so velocity decrease yeah velocity decrease uh, when uh, this one is when going up when going up and then velocity is positive here all velocity positive uh, because uh, going up yeah because going up uh, here is you know going positive velocity positive all this positive value because it's going up and then uh, at maximum height velocity becomes zero and then when going down uh, velocity become negative uh, here velocity become negative because it's going down I mean over here uh, over here is velocity negative negative velocity because now the ball is going down the ball is going down uh, ball is going down so velocity negative and then velocity is increasing you can see velocity is increasing velocity increasing again velocity increasing until what value uh, until uh, so uh conservation of energy if it's initial velocity just now is 9.81 so when you come back down to the same level it should also be 9.81 but negative value uh negative value negative 9.81 uh, meter per second understand uh and then you can see from the gradient of the graph it's all the same the gradient of the graph the gradient of the graph 
is actually uh, you know dv dt right uh, which is acceleration uh, is which is negative g uh, negative gradient can you see that negative gradient uh, yeah the velocity time graph the gradient of the graph uh, no matter it's going up or going down the gradient is always constant negative g uh, acceleration is negative g free fall motion understand class for this question yes okay so that's all for this question move on